Mark A. P., Meryl Streep, Liam Neeson, Taraji P. Henson and Paddington Bear and all rushed into movie theaters over Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, but Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle still roared the loudest with an estimated $27 million in ticket sales. Friday to Sunday, Jumanji easily remained the number one film in North America despite an onslaught of new challengers, according to Studio Estimates Sunday. The Sony Pictures release is now approaching $300 million domestically and, after grossing $40 million in China this weekend, a worldwide total of $667 million. Coming closest was Steven Spielberg's Pentagon Papers drama The Post, starring Streep as Washington Post publisher Catherine Graham and Tom Hanks as editor Ben Bradley. 20th Century Fox is forecasting $18.6 million for the weekend and $22.2 million for the four-day holiday. It's a solid result for the post in its nationwide expansion following several weeks of limited release. Made for about $50 million and fast-tracked, after the election of President Donald Trump, the post is considered by many a timely commentary on the power of the press and a rebuke of Trump from some of Hollywood's biggest names. It resonates with an older aunts because they were around and remember this particular moment in time, said Fox Distribution Chief Chris Aronson but it really resonates with the younger aunts and that's the segment of the aunts that will continue to discover this movie and realize how timely it is. Fox and The Post will hope the strong box office results help resuscitate the film's Oscar momentum. The movie went home empty-handed at last weekend's Golden Globes and WASNT nominated by the BAFTA Awards. Oscar nominations voting ended Friday. Landing in third was the Nissan thriller The Commuter, a Lionsgate release in partnership with Studio Canal. The modest $13.5 million opening for the film, Neeson's fourth with director John Collett, Sarah Nonstop Unknown, Run All Night, suggested some of the thrill of Neeson's action movie period, kicked off ten years ago with the $145 million hit taken, maybe waning. The star's last three films, Mark Felt, The Man Who Brought Down the White House, Silence and Monster Calls, have all disappointed at the box office. The children's book adaptation sequel Paddington 2 opened with $10.6 million. The film, originally to be distributed in North America over the Christmas holiday by the Weinstein Co., was sold to Warner Brothers after any association with the disgraced Weinstein Co. Co-chairman Harvey Weinstein was deemed toxic for the film. The juggled rollout of the movie, plus the breakout success of Jumanji as the go-to-family film, may have hurt Paddington too. Despite brave reviews, it did about half the $19 million debut of its 2015 predecessor. It's done better overseas, where it's grossed $139.8 million thus far. The R-rated Proud Mary, starring Henson as a hit woman, followed close behind with $10 million. Though some accused Sony's screen gems of burying the film at DIDNT screen for critics, the movie drew poor reviews and even criticism from John Fogarty, who accused the film of exploiting the title to his Credence Clearwater revival classic. The plethora of releases, along with a host of awards contenders in limited release led by Darkest Hour, with $4.5 million following Gary Oldman's Golden Globe win for Best Actor pushed the weekend box office to around $190 million for the four-day holiday frame, according to Paul Dergarabedian, senior media analyst for Comsca. Albeit shy of the 2015 record MLK weekend when Clint Eastwood's American Sniper opened, it's a strong start for Hollywood's 2018 after an up-and-down. 2017, most surprising, though, is that the holiday season hold overpowering the January box office ISNT Star Wars, The Last Jedi but Jumanji. The reboot, starring Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart and Jack Black, has now been the number one film two weeks running after spending its initial two weeks of release trailing The Last Jedi. This box office trajectory of Jumanji is somewhat unprecedented and certainly unexpected, said Durgarabedian. Right now, it's the films that have been out there for a while that are inspiring the most enthusiasm and that's been tough for the newcomers, don't weep for The Last Jedi. The Disney release, which added $11.3 million in its fifth weekend, has grossed $591.5 million in the US and Canada, ranking it as the sixth highest grossing film of all time domestically. This weekend, it passed Disney's own Beauty and the Beast to make it the top global release of 2017 with $1.264 billion worldwide. But, perhaps suffering from effects of a backlash from some fans, The Last Jedi HASNT inspired the kind of repeat viewing that The Force Awakens did. It's likely to come at least $700 million short of that 2015 release's global box office. Last weekend, The Last Jedi flopped in China where Star Wars holds less cultural sway with $28.7 million, or about half what The Last Jedi grossed in its first three days of release in China.
A week later, it has already been largely pulled from Chinese theaters to make way for new Chinese releases in Jumanji. Presumption is always that a Star Wars movie will be the dominant force in the box office universe pretty much for the entire time it's in the marketplace, said Durgarabedian. But there is a very strong force with Dwayne Johnson. There are other forces at play here, estimated ticket sales for Friday through Sunday at U.S. and Canadian theaters, according to Comsca. Where available, the latest international numbers for Friday through Sunday are also included. Final four-day domestic figures will be released Tuesday.1. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, $27 million, $81 million international.2. The Post, $18.6 million, $1.7 million international.3. The Commuter, $13.5 million, $6.3 million international.4. Insidious, The Last Key, $12.1 million, $17.7 million, International.5. The Greatest Showman, $11.8 million, $15.2 million, International.6. Star Wars, The Last Jedi, $11.3 million, $19 million, International.7. Paddington 2, $10.6 million, $1.9 million, International.8. Proud Mary, $10 million.9. Pitch Perfect 3, $5.7 million, $8.3 million, International.10. Darkest Hour, $4.5 million, $10.6 million, International, underscore 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 estimated ticket sales for Friday through Sunday at international theaters excluding the U.S. and Canada, according to Comsca. 1. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, $81 million.2. X-File 3, $24.2 million.3. Forever Young 20.3 million dollars.4 Star Wars The Last Jedi 19 million dollars.5 Coco 19 million dollars.6 Insidious The Last Key 17.7 million dollars.7 The Greatest Showman 15.2 million dollars.8 Ferdinand 13.3 million dollars.9 Darkest Hour 10.6 million dollars.10 1987, When the Day Comes, $9.2 million, underscore 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 follow AP film writer Jake Coyle at http colon slash slash twitter dot com slash Jake Soyla.